Welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 here in Cairo in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joining the studio today, Mr. Masoud Rana, who is the Joint Director of the Bangladesh Financial Intelligence Unit. Mr. Rana, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, what will it take for the world's poorest people to prefer digital financial services over cash? Will digital financial services be enough for this to happen? Well, I think uh, there are two good reasons uh, for choosing digital financial um, uh, services um, for the poor people. One is security of their money. Another is availability of their money when they required. Uh, let me start with an example from my country. While I was too young, uh, I have seen the poor people in the village, they save their money into a pot which is basically made of mud and they call it bank. But <coughs> you know, uh, in most cases, uh, they can, um, they cannot uh, protect their these savings into those banks because some of their friends, family member, they expend it. <laughs> and when they required this money for expenditure purposes, then they broke down the, all the pot and then they spend maybe a small portion from that. But when the DFS come with the digital wallet or mobile wallet, they can securely save their money into the devices as well as they can expense their money how much they required for a specific purposes. So it seems to me for these two good reasons the poor people are willing to go for the digital financial service instead of cash. It's also a matter of trust of course because of course, uh, yeah. they're always going to know where that pot is hidden yeah. or uh, or in vision or wherever it might yeah. be, but they might think, well, if I put my money somewhere or I can't see it, maybe somebody <laughs> will take it. <laughs> exactly. So uh, there's, a, there's a certain culture that has to, uh, yeah. um, to be uh, overcome, I think, on, on that yeah. side as well. But I just also want to ask you, what innovations are required in the regulatory collaboration uh, to create an enabling environment for digital financial services? Yeah, uh, if we consider the digital uh, financial services enabling environment, then of course it comes uh, in my mind that uh, we need to have a people-centric market regulation, then uh, financial literacy, as well as the establishment of sandboxes or private uh, or innovation hub by private-public partnership. An unintended uh, consequence of digital finance-led financial inclusion program is that it can lead to uh, greater financial data inclusion but not necessarily increased financial inclusion. Would you agree with that? Mm, I think it depends because if your national financial in in inclusion strategy is built and developed such a way that it focuses uh, for the poor or mar marginal people with digital solution, then it must be uh, fruitful for them. Otherwise, there is always chance of financial exclusion to introduce the financial, digital financial services. How so it depends. How do you see the fintech sector reshaping digital financial services? Uh, again, uh, I must say that this era is fintech era because uh, perhaps in early 80s, the f uh, digital financial service came into the market, uh, introduced by the bank when we got the ATMs, followed by the POS cards. So these are the basically digital financial services introduced by the bank for the first time. Then it's come to telco, in some cases, uh, some financial institution, collaboration with the telco, they provide the finan uh, digital financial services. But during the uh, financial crisis, uh, when the bank is stopped to provide the loan, uh, then it comes, the, the fintech company can, comes and they provide the loans, they come up with 
solution. And as you know, uh, within this couple of years, uh, the fintech companies has already invested more than 30 billion USD. And the fintech company are now providing services in the remittance, in the lending areas, in the mortgaging, uh, in the payments, in the transfers, and all these services are growing at the exponential rate. So all this development seems that uh, the fintech is going to reshape our future financial services. Finally, I'd like to ask you, what role do you think governments can play to enhance usage of digital financial services at the national level? Yeah, as I uh, said earlier, that government has to play a key, ro key role to uh, establish uh, digital financial services. Uh, for example, to establish an efficient payment system, and then promote the financial literacy, people-centric um, or market-oriented regulation, as well as government has to ensure that availability of digital devices with low cost, maybe by reducing taxes or levies or uh, other things. And finally, uh, another thing uh, government uh, may think of availability of speedy internet with low cost. So I think all these things can promote uh, the faster digital financial service growth. Mr. Well, General, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. And we thank you, Max. hope uh, that we will be able to catch up with you again some stage in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome.